I've been a member of Geyer Springs for 32 years. The minute I walked in, it felt like home. People tell me, hey, that's a big church. It's like, really, no, you need to come and get plugged in to a small group, and it is not that big of a church. It's big that you have all the ministries, but it's, it's small enough that, you, that it's family. I have a family in my Bible study class, Sunday school. I am a member of the Celebration Choir, so that's another family. Um, I'm a proud alto. This was where I found home because I felt so comfortable here and I felt so welcomed and invited and I knew I was part of the family. Since I've been here, I've lost both parents and my brother. When my father died, and that's been quite a while, 2006, of course you get the phone calls from the church staff, but then you have your friend from your Bible study who actually come, and I'm from North, East Arkansas. They actually drove up there two hours to come to the visitation to be there for the funeral. And they did it again six years ago when my mother passed. And then um, four years ago my brother passed and they went to Memphis. So they are there to be there with me, to come alongside. And that's precious. I don't know how people do it without their church family. I really don't. Um, because they stepped in to, you know, be there with me through those times. At a very early age, my dad modeled for me tithing. He would sit down every Saturday night at the, the kitchen table and he would write the tithe check. My mother continued that even after he died. She would sit down at that same table at the same spot and would write the tithe check. However, just like your personal salvation experience, you don't inherit that, so that's a, that's a road you have to take on your own. So it's one of those things when you move out on your own, it's like, oh, things are tight. But okay, this is this is not mine, this is God's. So you have to give, you, you start those baby steps where you start giving. And as you learn to trust Him, you give more. And as you learn to trust Him, you give more. Until all of a sudden, you're not only giving the tithe, you're giving way above the tithe through those tithes and offerings. Next steps to me is, okay, I don't know what else to do, but I need to do the next right thing. And to me, that is to support the church. By myself, I can't make a difference, really, even with 100% of my income. But when you add it to what others are doing here at Geyer Springs, and I know that they're an excellent steward of that money. I served on the finance committee for two years, so I have seen it in action. It is multiplied and then it can then impact the world in a greater way. I have no qualms about giving to the church at all. I give my time in, in Bible study, I give my time in the choir, but in just giving back financially is just a small part of that. I briefly worked in a five-year-old Sunday school many years ago, and it excites me to see those little girls and boys are now grown with their own families, and they're now serving in the church they're having children, their children are now attending Sunday school. So it's just that that you're sewing it back in. And then they're in turn gonna do the same with another generation. So it's generational. I see it as a blessing and a joy to be able to support the church. I mean, it's my church. And when we have debt, it's my debt. And I want to pay that. I want to, I want to help the church in any way I can. Mm -hmm.